Are you terrified of shooting portraits on a clear sunny day? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my approach for shooting outdoor natural light portraits in harsh sunlight. To do so, I'm going to give you guys the GoPro behind the scenes perspective of a real world engagement shoot with my Fujifilm X-T3. And I'm going to walk you guys through my lighting, posing, and compositional choices for shooting in sunny conditions. What's up guys, Reggie B Photo here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Reggie Ballesteros and I'm a wedding photographer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. My first tip for shooting outdoor portraits on a sunny day has nothing to do with your camera or the technique, but has everything to do with planning. When coordinating outdoor portrait shoots with my clients, I try to avoid high noon if possible, as the shadows will limit my posing and compositional options. Instead, I try to schedule them for the first few hours after sunrise or the last few hours before sunset. In this video, I specifically cover shooting in harsh daylight during these time frames. But I do understand that sometimes you cannot avoid shooting a portrait during high noon, maybe for a wedding or an event, or maybe just out with family and friends. And for these instances, the tips that are going to follow do not 100% apply. If you'd like me to do a video specifically on shooting portraits during high noon, then let me know down in the comments below. To help me plan my shoots, I like to use an app called Sun Surveyor in order to see the lighting conditions on a future date in the city that I'm going to be shooting at. For me, I prefer the sun to be at a 45 degree angle to the horizontal or lower. Since the sun will be serving as my primary light source, this 45 degree angle or lower will ensure that the sunlight will be directional and as flattering as possible even if there are no clouds to soften that light. From there, the key to shooting outdoor portraits is to recognize that the sun is actually a light source that you can control. And you have the freedom to choose an appropriate background that complements your subject and ultimately creates a stronger portrait. With all that said, my approach to shooting outdoor portraits on a sunny day can be summarized into five different lighting conditions. The first lighting situation is backlighting with direct sunlight. For me, I consider backlighting to be any situation where the sun is behind the subject. The main goal here is to ensure that the subject's face is under an even shadow. To take this approach one step further, try to choose a background that's also backlit or partially backlit. Doing so helps you to avoid completely blowing out the highlights of your image if you're not into that light and airy look. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I edit backlit photos like these, check out my Lightroom tutorial on editing Fujifilm RAW files for maximum dynamic range. The next lighting situation is front lighting with direct sunlight. Obviously, this will be the opposite of backlighting as the sun will be in the front of your subject. Some photographers avoid this type of light for portraits because of the harsh shadows. But if you shoot during the right time of the day where lighting is directional and you're willing to embrace the contrast, this is actually the only way to truly capture both your subject as well as their environment in a really vibrant way. The key to controlling the harsh shadows is to have your subject look towards the sun, that way the sun is evenly lighting their face. If you're scared about it being too bright for your subject, have them either look down or interact with each other to avoid squinting. One thing to watch out for is accidentally casting your own shadow in the shot as you step up closer for more intimate shots. So be sure to pay attention what's inside the frame. The next situation is side lighting with direct sunlight. This one is pretty straightforward in that you'll have the sun to one side of your subject perpendicular to where you're aiming the camera.
And like front lighting, it's best to have your subject look towards the sun. But this time, since your camera will be facing perpendicular to the light source, their face will actually be mostly in shadow with the sun outlining the profile. This works well for when you want to up the contrast of the scene, but don't quite want to shoot a full on silhouette. The next lighting situation is shooting in the shade. Shooting in the shade is probably the most popular approach to shooting portraits on sunny days because it's easy to evenly light the subject's face without the risk of blowing out any highlights in the background because that's also probably in shade. But it doesn't just stop there. It still pays off to still be aware of what direction the lighting is coming from as front, back, or side lighting still applies here. And to really elevate your portraits in the shade, find little pops of light to backlight your subject with. In this case, I found some stray light coming in from between the branches and leaves. And this stray light serves as a kicker or rim light to separate the couple's hair and shoulders from the background. The last lighting situation is a silhouette. Silhouettes are pretty straightforward. Have your subject in the shade against a brighter background and expose for the background. With that said, there are a few things I personally do when shooting silhouettes. The first is padding the subject. While the subject doesn't have to necessarily be at the center of the frame, it is easier on the eye if the negative space between the subject and the other parts of the frame are, the, are equal or close to equal. Also, since your subject will be in shadow, choose poses that accentuate their figure. Usually this means exaggerating poses a little more to have separation between body parts. And for couples, this means having a little bit of distance between the two so they don't blend together into one dark shadowy blob. So I'm hoping you learned something new about shooting in harsh sunny conditions. If you did and you want to see more behind the scenes technique videos like this, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any tips about shooting portraits in bright conditions that I miss, let us know in the comments down below. As always, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I'm posting a new Fujifilm or photography video every single week, just like these two. And if you want to see more of my photo work, be sure to follow me on Instagram at at Photo for a new post every single day. All right, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you guys in the next yeah. one.